Hello. Hey. Do you have any beers? We're out of beers. Help yourself. You okay? Phoebe moved out. Right. I don't understand. Am I, am I so hard to live with? I mean, is this why I don't have a boyfriend? No. You don't have a boyfriend because... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why you don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> you should have a boyfriend. I think so. <laughs> oh, come here. Come here. Listen, you are one of my favorite people and the most beautiful woman I've ever known in real life. <laughs> mm, this is nice. I know it is, isn't it? No, I mean it. This feels really good. Is it 100% cotton? <laughs> yeah, and I got it on sale, too. Anyway, I should go. One of the lifeguards was just about to dismantle a nuclear device. Well, if you want to get a drink later, we can. Oh, yeah, that sounds great. Okay. okay. Oh, and listen, it's, it's going to be... I know. Thanks. Is it okay for me to come in now? Uh-huh. Why is everything different? Bye. <laughs> well, I don't, I, don't, I don't see anything different other than the fact that the room got so much brighter when you came into it. <laughs> well, the end table is wrong, I mean, the couch looks bizarre, and don't even get me started on the refrigerator magnets. <laughs> Okay, look, don't, don't be mad, okay? But after I unpack the boxes, I want to do something nice for you. So I, I, I cleaned the apartment. So I moved everything around and then I, I forgot where it, where it went back. And I'm sorry, I'm very sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's okay. Chandler, are you afraid of me or something? Do you want me to be afraid of you? Of course not. Oh my gosh, Chandler, what you did, it's, it's such a wonderful thing, and I, I really appreciate it. I know I have this weird thing where I want everything to be in the perfect place, but I would never expect you to worry about that. Really? <laughs> of course. Oh, well, you're the best. You come here to me. <laughs> All right, hold on, okay? okay? First things first. Okay, now, did Ross sit anywhere while he was naked? <laughs> So, uh, you're not still upset about what that guy told you, are you? Wouldn't you be? Well, look, it's been a really emotional time, you know, and you've had a lot to drink, and you just gotta let that go, okay? I mean, you were the most beautiful woman in the room tonight. Really? Are you kidding? You're the most beautiful woman in most rooms. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, 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 what's going on? You and I just made out. You and I are making out? Well, not anymore. But we don't do that. I know, I just thought it would be fun. How drunk are you? Drunk enough that I know I want to do this. Not so drunk that you should feel guilty about taking advantage. That's a perfect amount. <laughs> you know what's weird? This doesn't feel weird. I know. You're a really good kisser. Well, I have kissed over four women. <laughs> you want to get under the covers? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> wow, you are really fast. It bodes well for me that speed impresses you. <laughs> We're going to see each other naked. Yep. You want to do it at the same time? Count of three. One. Two. Two. Three. three. <laughs> well, I think it's safe to say that our friendship is effectively ruined. Eh, we weren't that close anyway. Yeah. <laughs>
we certainly are alone. Yes, good thing we have that not New York rule. <laughs> All right. Um, listen, since we're, we're on that subject, um, I just wanted to tell you that, um, well, I was going through a really hard time in London. What with my brother getting married and that guy thinking I was Ross's mother. Right. <laughs> Well, anyway, I just, that night meant a lot to me, and I guess I'm trying to say thanks. Oh. You know, that night meant a lot to me, too. And it wasn't because I was in a bad place or anything, it just meant a lot to me because you're really hot. <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> and I'm cute, too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, I gotta go unpack. Okay. Bye. I'm still on London time. Does that count? <laughs> oh, that counts. Oh, good. <laughs> Hey. Hi. I just came over to drop off... nothing. <laughs> so that weekend kind of sucked, huh? Yeah, it did. So, I guess this is over. What? Well, you know, you and me. I mean, it had to end sometime. Why, exactly? Because of the weekend. We had a fight. <laughs> Chandler, that's crazy. <laughs> if you give up every time you have a fight with someone, you'd never be with anyone longer than... Oh. So, this isn't over? <laughs> you were so cute. <laughs> no, no, it was a fight. You deal with it and you move on. It's nothing to freak out about. Really? Okay, great. <laughs> Welcome to an adult relationship. Uh, we're in a relationship? I'm afraid so. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what do you what do you want to do? Let's do something crazy. I know, let's rest and drink lots of fluids. Okay, I'll rest. But, uh, you know, if I'm going to bed, then you're coming with me. <laughs> See, that would be impossible to resist if you weren't all drippy here. Are you saying that you don't want to get with this? <laughs> Yeah, I don't think you should say that even when you're healthy. Oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> don't take this personally, okay? It's just that I just can't have sex with a sick person. I'm with you, Chandler. I mean, I can't have sex with a sick person either. That's disgusting. But I'm not sick. Let me prove it to you. We are two healthy people and the bribe of lime. See, that's the thing. I would like to stay in the prime of lime. Chandler! Oh, what is it, honey? You need some tea, some soup? Oh! Calling Dr. Big. Dr. Big to the bed. <laughs> oh, jeez, honey. I thought, I thought you were asleep. How could I be asleep knowing that you were in the next room? I was asleep. <laughs> oh, no, 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 honey. You know what's sexy? Layers. Oh. Layers are sexy, and blankets are sexy, and oh, hot water bottles are sexy. Come on, get into bed. I want to prove to you that I'm not sick. I want to make you feel as good as I feel. Ash! Please get some rest. I'm fine. 
Chandler, I think I'm sick. Really? Struck down in the pry blah blah. Okay, fine, I admit it. I feel terrible. We please rub this on my jazz. Okay. No, 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 no. You are not getting me this way. God, I really need your help. No, 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 no. Fine, I'll just rub it on myself. Okay. So you just kind of rubbing it on yourself? Yeah. It's nice. Are you kidding me? Is this is this turning you on? Yes. Well, I can't believe it. What is it? Is it the rubbing or the spell? It's all very, very good. <laughs> so you want to go uh, mix it up? Now I'm sick. Oh, come on, you big faker. What happened to your rule about never sleeping with sick people? Well, that was before all the vaporizing action. <laughs> okay, if you really want to have sex. Okay. Work like a jar. <laughs> Gotta go to work. And, uh, Rachel, great to have you back. <laughs> Phoebes! <laughs> Always a pleasure. Mm. Oh. What took you so long? I got caught up at work. But I'm quitting tomorrow. Ah. So thanks for having me over. <laughs> Rach. <laughs> Phoebes. Probably some, you know, European goodbye thing he picked up in London. I, well, that's not European. Huh? It felt French. I can't believe Phoebe's gonna have her babies. I know, it's beautiful and amazing. Oh. <laughs> you know what else I can't believe? Hmm. I had to kiss Phoebe and Rachel every time I left the room. I mean, it's too bad they didn't see us having sex. <laughs> Do you know anything about women? No. It's all right. Okay. Chandler, wait. It goes old job, new job, and you. This is just something I have to do. I know. I love you so much. I know that too. It is not okay that I'm aroused by this now. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Dr. Connolly. Uh, no, well, she's not here, but, uh, you know, I can tell her. Should I be sitting down for this? <laughs> oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
well, so what does that mean? Okay, uh, okay, thank you. Thanks. Hey, sweetie. Dr. Connolly just called. Oh, with, with good news? Of course it's not good news. You just said Dr. Connolly just called. If it was good news, you would have said Dr. Connolly just called. <laughs> but, um, so what, what is it? Is it, um, is there a problem? Is there a problem with me or with you? Actually, it's both of us. What? Apparently, my sperm have low motility and you have an inhospitable environment. <laughs> oh. oh. What does that mean? It means that my guys won't get off their barca loungers and you have a uterus that is prepared to kill the ones that do. <laughs> it means... Right, Chandler? It means that we can keep trying. But there's a good chance this may never happen for us. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna figure this out. I know. I think we found our sperm. <laughs> it does seem pretty perfect. Yeah? You think so? Well, should I ask him? No. Why not? Just because his great-grandmother was obese? Our kid's gonna get that from you anyway. <laughs> no, that's not it. Just that when we were asking him all those questions before, I just... I just realized I don't care if he is the most perfect guy in the world. He's not you. Yeah, he's better! <laughs> no, he's not. And if I can't get pregnant with you, then I don't want to get pregnant by him or anyone else. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, thank God, because I don't want to do this either. You know, I was just doing it because I thought that was what you wanted to do. You know, I'm the husband. I'm supposed to bring the sperm. <laughs> that is so sweet. Well, I love you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this leaves us with... Adoption. How do you feel about that? I think I feel okay about it. Actually, I, I, I think I feel really good about it. Me too. I want to find a baby that needs a home and I want to raise it with you. And I want to mess it up in our own specific way. <laughs> so, th this is it? We're... We're really gonna adopt? Yeah. Oh my God, we're gonna be parents. We are gonna be great parents. And it could be soon. I mean, I mean, think about it. Right now, somewhere out there, our baby could be being conceived. Wait, if we're lucky and we're really, really, really quiet, we may be able to hear the sound of a condom breaking. <laughs> Where's Monica? I need to talk to her. It's urgent. Is she here? Hi, Monica. I need to talk to you. It's urgent. Okay. Okay, I've been doing a lot of thinking about us, you know, a lot of uh, us thinking. And, uh, well, I guess there's only one, one way to do this. What are you doing? Monica? No, 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 don't, 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 don't do it. Will you marry me? I don't know. But I know I'm not afraid to do this. 
Chandler. I'm doing this because I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you, um, you really think the best reason to get married is because you're sorry? Well, no, the best reason to get married is pregnancy. <laughs> Sorry is pretty much fourth, you know, behind being ready and actually wanting to get married. <laughs> Will you be my wife? <laughs> Chandler, um, I want you to take just a minute and I want you to think about how ridiculous this sounds. Yeah, I'm kind of wishing everyone wasn't here right now. You know that none of that stuff came from me? I mean, I never said that I wanted to have babies and get married right now. Yeah, I don't, but I was really confused. And then I talked to these guys. Who, two divorces and Joey? <laughs> hey. She's right, you know. <laughs> yeah, but still, cheap shot. You know, I, you know when I said that I want you to deal with this relationship stuff all on your own? Well, you're not ready for that. I didn't think I was. <laughs> oh, my God. What would you have done if I had said yes? Well, I would have been happy because I would have been able to spend the rest of my life with the woman that I love. Or you would have seen a Chandler-shaped hole in that door. <laughs> You wanted it to be a surprise. <laughs> oh, my God. Chandler, in all my life, I never thought I would be so lucky. to fall in love with my best, my best. There's a reason why girls don't do this. Okay, okay, okay. I'll do it. I thought. Wait, I, I can do this. I thought that it mattered what I said or where I said it. Then I realized the only thing that matters is that you you make me happier than I ever thought I could be. And if you let me, I will spend the rest of my life trying to make you feel the same way. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>